wanted to pop in here and uh, I noticed that I'm getting really close to 500 subscribers. So I'm thinking of doing a 500 subscriber special. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, things you'd like me to talk about or uh, mention, drop them in the comments section. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, let's get to today's video. I found this at Dollar Tree for just buck twenty-five. Here's the UPC code if you need it. This is a crafting ribbon, and it comes in this uh, very cool-looking uh, pattern. And I thought that this would make a great a camouflage netting material since it's um, small. I used my yarn to stitch it together to make it a little bit longer. That way, I could have a larger camo net. I cut little squares of the different colors and some uh, lengths of yarn and then I tied them together and then I attached, attached them to the, the net and kind of frayed the ends of my yarn that way creating kind of this camouflage net. The stuff is pretty cool and it's uh, pretty easy to work with. It cuts really easy with scissors. comes in a pretty long length so just for a buck twenty-five you get quite a bit you could use. I created some poles out of some uh, skewers and duct taped them together to create a, a simple frame. And this can be set up to uh, create a, a, a small scene, a little camouflage net over your action figures. I think I'm going to do another version of this, but I'm going to create kind of like a TP setup. That way it uh, sits up better than this. But this was a quick and easy project. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. It looks pretty nice. And it was pretty easy to do. I like making these little camouflage nets for my action figures. I've done a couple of uh, how-to videos of it and you can find them uh, here and here. They'll also be linked into the description box. Well, that's all I have for you. I just thought I'd share this quick little project with you. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to click that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And don't forget to click Inspire and Create. I'll see you in the next video.